Income taxes. Subchapter A, determination of tax liability. Ooh. Or qualified foreign corporations. <laughs> Timmy. I was thinking I'd take code section 179 depreciation on my bicycle. Is that smart? All right, welcome back to the set of Thrive America. I'm joined by Grace Lee of Grace Lee International. And uh, Grace, thanks for gracing us uh, on the set here today. I'm sure you've heard that plenty of times before. Uh, and, and Grace, um, in, in learning, uh, learning, to, to, uh, learning about your business and learning more about you, it's fascinating how, I'm sure, how many mistakes that we make every day in, in, um, in our body language and our, like you said, in our social graces and so forth. Uh, and as an expert in this field, what are some of the common mistakes we're making every day? And then what, can, what simple solutions can you provide to make that great first impression that we need to make as, as business leaders and business owners and, and so forth? There's a couple of areas. One is the how to act. The the public social graces, and also the dining etiquette. Mm -hmm. Those are two areas. And um, one of the things to remember for business etiquette is that, for women especially, is that business etiquette was just for men. They didn't, they didn't come up with new, new styles for women. So women, we follow the men etiquette. Okay, the one mistake I see a lot is when men handshake, mm -hmm. American men tend to sit when they handshake. They go, hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. They're already sitting. They're too mm -hmm. lazy to get up or something. Mm -hmm. But it's very important when you handshake that you stand up and you look straight in the eye of each other. Mm -hmm. Because Western etiquette is about, I'm not going to kill you today. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> because they used to you know, fight uh, when they had the sword and they would get with each other and they had no weapons and then that's how they mm -hmm. got their hands mm -hmm. clapped and they said, I have no weapon, I'm not going to kill you right now, we're going to talk, we're going to Okay. Go. So that's basically where the Western handshake comes. So you need to stand up as, as men, okay? Mm -hmm. Or if you're being introduced to somebody, you should always stand up. Mm -hmm. Guilty. I, I'm certainly guilty of, of not doing that. So uh, that's and that's a simple solution. So very simple. So always stand up when when you're being introduced to somebody yeah. or someone is introducing you to someone else. Okay. And same with the women. The women stand up. Now in social social situation, women don't have to stand up. Women can say, "Nice to meet you." Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But in the business situation, women always stand up. Also. Mm -hmm. The other thing I've noticed was in um, some things that you should know with table manners mm -hmm. is slow everything down. The look of elegance, look of class, education, educated is not rushing around. It's like slow everything down. So when you are eating, slow down and eat. And know that you should know where your table setting is. Right hand side is liquids, mm -hmm. left hand side is solids. Mm -hmm. And the I say not even knowing what your table matter, uh, table setting, it, that's not as, as important as how you eat. Mm -hmm. Some people eat like this, mm -hmm. you go towards the food, all of a sudden your class goes away. <laughs> right. right, right. So when you eat, you know, stay, sit straight and bring the food to you. It's the military style, they, they bring up the food to your mouth, up to here, and then it goes in your mouth. Same with your drinking, bring the cup up high enough and you drink okay and slow it down it's not mm -hmm. so, so if you just slow everything down because we can't go into the whole uh, teaching right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. but the basic is uh, you if you even slow down your walking slow down your action mm -hmm. you just look more uh, like you know what you're going to be doing mm -hmm. that's great that's great and uh, you demonstrated when I, when I sat down, and maybe we can do a little demonstration here. When, when, I, when I sat down, um, I kind of did this when I came and sat down on the set. I was just kind of, you know, like this and, and started talking. <laughs> and Grace, uh, can you demonstrate what, what kind of you helped me with? Yes, I will. <laughs> okay. I couldn't stand it. Right? I had so. to go over there and go, okay, your collar should be up. 
Mm -hmm. And I said, when you sit down, mm -hmm. you know, pull your 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 um, suit. I don't know what you're down. down. Yeah. So when you're sitting down, even when you are just going regularly to any meeting, that's how you should sit. You should be sitting on your suit, mm -hmm. not crumpled up. Mm -hmm. So this way, this part is straight. It's mm -hmm. very important. And your collar is up, basically. So, well, and that's important because when we, when we sit down at a business meeting, we're going to this is going to stay yes. we're, if, if we're off a little bit that that offness is going to remain throughout the entire conversation so it's important yes. when we sit down maybe we just take a second and just primp ourselves a little <laughs> bit if you will yes. it just takes a quick second and that way the whole dinner or wherever you're you're you look put together and so forth yes because when you are unbalanced if mm -hmm. this is gone mm -hmm. and unbalanced all of a sudden that's what you notice even though you don't consciously think about it but you think he's off balance is he able to do it mm -hmm. can he handle the business that i'm going to give him mm -hmm. can he handle the promotion mm -hmm. all those things come into play when you start to look he doesn't look neat enough uh, or uh, balanced enough so it makes a difference that's so important uh, later on tonight in fact we have a little mini job fair maybe your team will stick around and kind of educate some of the grads coming in because I doubt a lot of this information is being taught no. in schools or in colleges and so a lot of graduates will come out very in intelligent but maybe not educated on how to improve their interview skills and so forth so this is such an important thing understand that you can be uh, hired to come to organizations or groups can come to you is that kind of how absolutely mm -hmm. well I have both sides I, I have a webinar that is starting which I think it's easier where everybody can come in and look at the webinar. But after the webinar, if you would like, you, we are going to have a live workshop so that we can videotape you, so you can see yourself. What, what is your first impression? Mm. And then after you learn, we practice it again, and you see your first impression after you have been taught. Impressive. It is all about acting. We can all act, but it's about, mm -hmm. you know, so, but, um, so anyway, that, that's, that's you. Yeah, just a little bit of touch of flair, a little touch of acting can go a long way. And it's something that I think that you just need to be disciplined in and just need to know. So this is why, uh, and again, Grace has traveled all over the world with your export-import business leg. And so you've ne you, you see how, how, it, how it plays out in other nations and other cultures. And I think you can really educate us and give us a leg up when we go and uh, go overseas especially and, and so forth. So Grace, if you could stick around for our final segment, I'm going to ask you how you can improve my uh, social etiquette here at, at the studio and uh, talk a little bit more about what it is that you do and so forth. And, and then I'm going to talk to you about the future. What could be a future perspective? What do you see as, as a solution uh, moving forward? So Grace, we'll bring it right back for our third segment.